Hey again guys, this is Minecrafting Dad, and welcome to episode 9 of our FTB Regrowth 0.7 Alpha Mod Pack series. This mod pack is available on the FTB launcher, and information on how to download the pack is available in the video description below. So, we've been working on the second half of our The Life of the World episode, so in our quest book, there is a ton of and I do mean literally a ton of these different uh, quests and that are related to Agricraft. It is going to span probably three episodes just to get these part of the quests done. And there is more to go than just what's in here. This is just the start. This, what I tell you, literally this entire pack revolves around crops. So, with that being said, I may have completed some of these uh, plants and moved them, but I have not turned any of the quests in. So we'll go through each of them, and then I'll go to where those things should be, and we will try to complete as many of these as possible. So the ones we've completed are already done here. The ones we need to complete are still glowing. So let's, for example, let's start at the uh, the top over here cactus so this one is the next one in our list so let's take a look at this so cactus is the seed and it's going to require us to put this between sugarcane and a poppy seed and this is going to give us cactus it has to be grown on sand so you have sugarcane and poppy seed and a piece of red sand and there we go there is our cactus. So let's grab this guy. I'm just going to make sure we grab it. There we go. Turn in our quest for our cactus seed. And we can plant this back down. Now the cool thing is you can actually take the regular cactus, this one, and if you go over to a regular piece of sand, you can plant the regular cactus onto a regular piece of sand. Now this, as you can see, acts like a regular cactus where this guy you can kind of just walk over top of but uh, the cool thing is is when you break this guy you get what's known as um, cactus there's like a little green thing this gets you the normal stuff and this grows like four high the same thing with the sugar cane the sugar cane can be grown traditionally the same way it is in vanilla alright so after that crop we now have some other ones that we need to complete. So let's go through our list here. And we have the raspberry seed, which uh, we created here with some blackberry beads. So let's look at the raspberry recipe, because I did already move some of these plants around. But the raspberry seed is a combination of blackberry and melons. We did have some melons over here, except for I moved that crop. So let's grab that real quick and grab our raspberry seed plant that back down again and we should be able to grab this reward there we go next one on the list is blueberry seeds and that was a combination of our blackberry and the water artichoke there's our blueberry seeds let's turn that one in as well alright that puts gives us now a strawberry and a grape seed. We haven't started on those yet. But we do have the garlic seed. <clears throat> and you can see over here, the garlic seed is a combination of this guy here, a snowbell and the water artichoke seed. So let's grab that one. There's our garlic seed. Let's turn that in. And claim that reward. Before, I don't want to lose the spot where these things are, so I'm just going to put them back basically in the same spot where we got them from. Same thing with our uh, with our other seed over here. We should put this back where we got it from so we don't lose it, which is our blueberry seed. Alright, there we go. So now we know where those things are located. So other than that, we have the wolfsbane seed, and we saw that one here, which is a cool looking plant kind of like a white and 
yellow flower, and that has to go between the uh, snowbell and a mandrake. So let's grab that one, and we'll turn in our wolf spain. And let's plant that back again. Nice. All right. So now, what else do we have? We have some cucumber seeds, which were ones that we were growing from early in the last episode. And that's between some yellow corn and some melons. So cucumbers are a thing. Um, and that's going to be right here. Grab that and let's put it back. Now we should be able to turn that one in as well. And from there we're going to be able to make a chili seed which is a combination of a cucumber seed and some sweet corn. This is our chili seed. So grab that and turn that one in as well. Then we have some tomato seeds and grape and strawberry. I don't think we've planted any of that stuff yet. What we did plant is the blue orchid. Uh, blue orchid was over here, which was a combination of yellow and red, and that gave us our blue. Let me make sure of this recipe. I'll tell you the wrong thing here. Blue orchid was a combination of yellow and red, and we got that earlier, and now we can claim that reward. Blue allows us to go into the allium, which uh, if we take a look at the allium seed, Allium seed is a combination of our red and blue, and we did that a little earlier here. So there's an allium seed, so let's claim that reward as well. And we also did, oh, we can move into doing the pink, or we can move into doing the daisy. I don't see a daisy here yet. We have allium, we have allium, we have red, we have a poppy seed, so none of these have grown yet. But uh, we are able to, that's allium, that's not what we want yet, and this is a red tulip. I don't know if that's actually a quest or not, but let's take a look here. Red tulip and our pink tulip. Now, we never made the pink tulip, but somehow we made the red tulip. It's not going to let us claim that yet for some reason. Completed unclaimed reward. Yes. Detection. That's weird. Alright, so maybe it wants us to complete uh, this pink one first. So let's take a look and see what does the pink one require. <clears throat> so our pink tulip is a combination of allium and yellow. So let's see here. We have allium and we have yellow so let's make a spot for that and we should end up getting the seed we need here so let's go dump some of these seeds in here so we have some more room as we've just completed a whole bunch of different quests here so the chilies and the there's the chili seeds there is our allium seeds alright so the rest of this stuff's gonna go over here so there's our rose red there's our raspberries chilies and wolf spains you're probably like what are we making all of these things for like ultimately what are you going to do with it well there is something in here at least there was something called magical food and the, this is a combination of nine of the uh, magical crop foods and this actually gives you regeneration so the cool thing is if we take this five and this four when we go over to a crafting bench, we just throw these guys in here. They could be in any combination. It doesn't have to be uh, specifically any way. Uh, we should be able to... Oh, actually, it wants one of every specific seed. So literally, you have to make it only that way. There is no other way to make the magical food unless you combine all of these different items. It's still not undoable. It's just going to require a little bit more work than uh, <laughs> but the cool thing is like I said if you make the magical food it gives you six hunger and regeneration too pretty powerful in my opinion all right so eventually we'll get something like that set up but uh, in the meantime 
Let's look and see here. We can also make a daisy seed. Let's take a look at what the daisy is going to require. Daisy, daisy. It's going to be yellow and the blue. So we should be able to grab the blue seed and the yellow. All right. Let's see here. We have yellow and okay, let's fix this ground here real quick. We'll plant the yellow and the blue flowers. So we'll make this the blue. And this one's going to be the yellow. So here we go. There we put that there. And in the meantime, we can make these grow with bone meal because they're basically flowers. So if we get all these fully grown, allium seeds, red tulip seeds. No, it's not what we want. We want uh, red tulip. Allium. No, not that either. Not what we want. What we're looking to make is the pink tulip. So that's going to be between the red tulip and the allium. Let's take a look at that again. The pink. The pink tulip is. No, it's between the allium in the yellow. So that's what this is here. So we can get two of these going here. Breed that, breed that. Let's make this one into a yellow. Which I don't think I have any extra, so let's go grab a yellow extra. Alright. So we'll make this work. And by the way, we did finish our... Let's make that grow. We did finish our ender seed. So in order to grab that, what we're going to need to do is grab a piece of living rock and our wand of the forest. We throw the living rock on top and right click with the wand of the forest. And somewhere around here, we should now have an ender seed. So we want to get this planted right away. Let's just go find some uh, magical earth here. Get this tilled up and get this in the ground. There we go. Let's get some of this going ASAP so we can always get some ender pearls when we need them on demand. There we go. Alright, so we can turn in some of these seeds here just so we have a place to put them so our inventory doesn't get too backed up. And let's take our light blue dye. Let's put that in there. All right, cool. And our cucumbers. We don't need to carry those around with us. Go back to our quest book, and we should be able to turn in that quest under what the world is made of. So we should be able to turn in this ender seed, which gives us two more essence, and it wants us to pick one of those. Eh, we'll pick the essence of ender. Why not, right? And we'll put our Ender Essence in this chest, because we just need a place to put it for now. So that quest is done, and now that's going to open up uh, the regular infused mana, you know what do you call that, the um, regular infusion stone. So we'll leave that there. We should be able to make this uh, coal dust, as I, I actually... The next quest we can make in this seed here is going to be this coal seed. Let's take a look at this. I did kind of pre-gather um, some of the items we need to make this coal seed. So you take a look here. It's charcoal, three pieces of essence of uh, coal, an essence seed, and some weak essence. If you look at the quest uh, for the coal seed, it requires you to combine 16 charcoal and 16 floral black uh, powder and that gets you one essence of coal. I happen to find some essence of coal in one of the uh, the witches um, ruins I guess you call it, you know, with the witches circles. So I gathered all the different supplies to be able to make this. So let's go out there to our um, runic altar and 
get this made. No more coal. We won't have to worry about coal ever again. <laughs> That's the good thing. Alright, take our wand. If you know you got this right, you want to make that sound, and you can see the little bar starting to go up. So we'll grab our stone that we're going to need for later. Alright, and let's go check on some of our crops and see if any of these have uh, turned into anything. So we have some poppy seeds and allium. Over here we have allium and allium. Nope, these aren't doing what they're supposed to do. So let's replant these guys. This is the thing about these agricraft crops is you never know. So all right, we got a daisy seed over here. So we could turn this one in. So let's grab that and uh, grab our quest book and turn in the uh, daisy seed quest, which is under number nine, the life of the world. And we should now have the daisy seed. And that's going to open up the white tulip. So let's look at daisy. So our daisy seed, that's going to open up the white tulip. So the daisy and the yellow. So the only thing we're going to do now is switch these guys. So I'm going to make this guy into the, uh, the daisy seed. Just like that. And get our crop circles back again. Just like that. Perfect. And now we're going to be able to grow the daisy and the dandelion. And that should turn into our white tulip. Alright, so there's... Oh, there we got our pink tulip too. Alright, so cool. We're getting these things knocked out really fast right now. So, go into number 9. Life of the world. And there's our pink tulip. We need the white, we need the orange, we need to start setting up some of these other things. Man, we're really doing a good job on that. Uh, so let's grab our pink tool up and let's put it back because it's uh, it's easier to control things when you know where they are. And so we'll keep them where they need to be. Alright, <clears throat> let's put our seeds away, the extra ones. Always get a whole bunch of extra seeds from doing all this. Alright, so we got all that. Put the... Um, the output stuff away and we'll take our horn of the wild or horn of the canopy and put that back where it belongs as well so we don't lose it oh this is ready already nice alright so let's grab our coal seed throw that on there and there we go so now we have some coal seed so we really don't have a place to put this so let's take some of our compost and let's go right here we'll grab some of this original dirt and we'll start to turn some of this into the uh, garden soil and we'll start making this here because we need we need the coal up here anyway right so it can't hurt to uh, whoop. turn this into our coal field right here. So one, two. All right, so we'll plant our coal crop. Whoop, this needs to be tilled. Oh, my bad. So we need to till this first. Alright, and now we can plant our coal crops. Alright, so our coal will grow there. And you can see over here we planted our uh, our ender seeds earlier. These should start to grow pretty soon. There we go. So there you go. You already got some ender seeds. Let's get rid of these melon seeds over here. They're starting to uh, interbreed into our other crop area. Cool. Alright, so what else can we turn in? We have the white tulips and we also now have this guy which we can turn in from earlier which is the red tulip. Let's look at these other quests here. So we have a tomato seed. What is it going to take for us to put or plant a tomato seed? So tomato is a combination of blueberry and chili. So chili was over here, right? We got our chili. Did we not plant it back in there? We didn't plant our chili back. Where do we put it? If you were a chili seed, 
Here it is. Our chili seed and our blueberry. Is that what we just said? Blueberry and chili. So let's go over here. So we have our blueberry and our chili seed. And let's make a crossbreed crop here. What is this? Our raspberry. Let's just move the raspberry out of the way. We'll put that over there for now. We are going to then make the grape seed, I guess. Let's check on What was the other one? We have the grape or the strawberry. Let's take a look at both of those recipes. So grape seed is blueberry and pumpkin. So we have our blueberry seed, which is here. And it wants us to combine that with a pumpkin. So let's grab our pumpkin crop, which is over here. And we'll plant that real quick. So here's our pumpkin seed. All right, and let's put this guy there. All right, so cool. And we'll take our blackberry. Let's just move him out of the way. We'll put him over on this side. So we have blackberry, and that can go there. All right, so we'll just breed these guys up a little bit, try to gain some extra seeds while we're working on these other crops and stuff. So I think we're good to go there. All right, so cool. All right, now the other one is we made the grape. Let's look at the strawberry see what that's all about. So strawberry is raspberry and blueberry. So let's see what was these guys. This is raspberry and the blueberry is here. So we, we need an extra blueberry. I wonder if we have any extra uh, magical fertilizer. We can make some. Let's look at making some of the uh, magical fertilizer here. So it's a combination of floral fertilizer, mutandus, and bone meal, and two of the essences. Like that. And we now have some magical fertilizer. Let's take that and use it on these guys. Actually on this particular crop here. We want this crop to grow and the chili seed too. So we'll get that actually to go. And we're going to try to make this between a raspberry and a blueberry except for I need an extra blueberry before we uh, unplant this. So hopefully we get an extra blueberry right here. Or even in those two as well. So that's fully mature, that's fully mature, this is fully mature, and this one could use a little help. There we go. Alright, so that's all we can do there until we make the white tulip, which is daisy dandelion. What was the recipe for the white tulip? The white tulip was the daisy and the dandelion, right? So that's what this is here. Except for this isn't growing the stuff we want. Alright, so that's supposed to grow something different. There's the red, that's the allium. Alright, so we're not really growing anything in this area right now. We did all those crops that we were supposed to. We do have another uh, seed. Let's get this coal seed up and running here as well. Cool. Alright, so... We don't have very many quests left to go, so we have the white tulip and we can also start making the orange. So let's look at the orange tulip. Orange tulip is a combination of the daisy and the blue. I think we should have some extra blue in here. Let me take a look here. We do have blue. And we should have an extra spot we can put this. We'll put this guy right here. 
So this is going to be the blue seed and here, because there's our daisy. That's a dandelion and nothing has grown there. So these, these crops are fighting us. And we could probably, just, I could use this one here. Alright, so we've got those growing. We still haven't had any growth in those particular things, and we still haven't had a blueberry grow yet. <clears throat> but we need a blueberry to grow with our raspberry. We can't do anything about it until that happens. So let's go and see if uh, if anything else is open now that we've done all this. So let's start back with number one. We can make this guy, which is a garden trowel. So because we had our iron seed, I started cooking up some of the iron. Um, I put the iron in here. This is going to allow us to make a, uh, a trowel. We're going to need a piece of compost, which we have in our inventory, and a stick. So you go just like this. And one piece of compost. There you go. There's a garden trowel. So let's turn that recipe in. And this is going to get us a whole bunch of stuff. And we do not have inventory yet for. So let's make sure we empty out all of these different items. So we have some inventory space. So we'll just clear our inventory out real quick. Sort that out. And we should be good now. All right, so make that <clears throat> claim all those items. So we got piano peonies and lilacs and sunflowers and rose bushes. I think we have the majority of these things over in one of our chests out here already. Let's go double check that. Out here in this bottom chest, I should have a lot of these different items already. Rose bushes and lilacs and peonies. We have some of these items, other ones we don't. But sunflower, we'll just we'll store all these in here for now until we need them. <laughs> right this minute, we don't need very many of these things, if at all. And our garden trowel. Well, maybe we opened up some other quests. Pottery, pottering about. Not everyone wants to recess their farms into the ground, yet if you place the soil on the surface, it's simply unattractive. Delving into the use of ceramics will hopefully let you build a planter box of sorts with the capacity for enough soil to support a farm. So a large flower pot. So let's take a look at that. Let's see what that's all about. A large flower pot. So that is requires hardened clay, which requires regular clay to be cooked up. And regular clay is that. So I don't know how much how much of this do we actually have. We have that. Uh, and this is going to require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to need some more sand. I have 26. Eh, it might be all right. Let's see how much we can come up with here. All right, so we can use our clay aconia and just turn all this into sand. All right, so that's that. And from there, let's turn these into blocks. So we've got 10 blocks. Cool. So will this allow us to use the raw? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at our large flower pot recipe. Raw large flower pot. Uh, and white cyan. Clay and hardened clay, so cool. All right, let's take this and cook it up. Prepare.
apparently we have a whole lot of food. And we need some fuels. So let's see, what do we have in the way of fuels? We don't. Uh, we have coal seed out here, but we don't have enough crops yet to do anything with it. So, either we have some coal and another chest, or... going to have to use another means. So I, I guess we just use some wood to cook it, right? There we go. And while this is cooking, let's go check on our flowers out here and see what's going on. <clears throat> so we have a daisy, daisy, daisy. So this isn't working yet. Let's get this planted again. On this side we have the red tulips, the allium, I don't think there's anything there. This is blueberry. It's not what we wanted. And this is pumpkin. Nope, that's not what we wanted either. But we can go and combine our raspberry with um, our new blueberry crop that we just got. And this is going to make our strawberry, I believe. Alright, so we've got that going. Cool. I don't think we have anything else that we're watching for crops except for these guys. So we have, there's our daisy, there is our white tulip. Nice. Alright, so let's put our white tulip back. Let's turn in that quest as well under number nine. Mr. White Tulip. And then it requires us to make Mr. Orange Tulip. <clears throat> Mr. Orange Tulip is Daisy and blue, which was going on back here. So daisy and blue. And this is supposed to make orange, right? So we'll wait for that to happen. And we can probably move this over to the other side over here. So that's blue. And let's put another daisy right here. Allium. So we'll get that going there, and that should work for that. So let's get these other extra things put away. Okay. All kinds of crops. So we're good on that now. So we are almost complete with, the, uh, with this particular quest line. So we've only got the orange, we've got the strawberry, the grape, and the tomato seed, and we'll be done this particular page, which is cool. Alright, so this here, we're still not getting what we need. What is this? Blueberry. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, so we're not getting anything we need on that particular area, so we won't worry about that too much as we made a, a, a good a good solid effort in getting a lot of that done. So let's go and let's start taking a look at some of the uh, earlier quests and see what else we can possibly do. So in here the pottering stuff, let's, let's finish that up. Let's finish our pottery quest. Cool. That gives us a whole bunch of these. Now I'm not sure if, if I would personally you know, make a, a farm that's up above the ground, but apparently, um, if you so desire, you could, uh, you could basically make a raised farm. This is basically what they're trying to show you here. And then I'm, you know, I'm guessing you can just plant a regular old crop in there. Uh, let's see here. It's kind of weird, though. What, what, 
I will not let me plant what I need. It doesn't matter. I don't really care to plant anything in there anyway. All right, so we did all of those different quests under there. Number two, this has the tin seed, the coal seed, which we did complete. We can grab some of that. The uh, copper seed, which we still need to finish. I think we're still missing some items out of that one. We only have one copper essence. And if we want to complete the uh, copper quest, we're going to need a total of, I think, three or four. So that's not going to get done as soon. But the essence of tin, that one doesn't require a ton of uh, stuff. <clears throat> Rather, the tin seed. The tin seed requires uh, three essence of tin and one iron. So that's actually not horrible, but in the quest book, in order to get the tin, it wants us to use some slate and some floral light gray powder. Now, we've been working on um, some seeds. We can make it, possibly could be able to make this at some point, but in order to get to this road, we need the gray flower and the white flower. In order to make a white flower, we need a white tulip and a daisy. So we're actually not that far off from being able to eventually get into some of the uh, botanical flowers but I think we're gonna have to do that in our next episode uh, let's take a look at seeing how much of the light gray we have we have gray and we have only three light gray. See, like I said, our best effort to get these seeds is to get the uh, to get the magical crops uh, or get the botanical flower seeds up and running because it's just it's just not wieldy. You're not it's not easy enough to be able to get the essences we need uh, from you know from the traditional floral fertilizer. I mean, I mean, we could go do it one more time, but, you know, I'm just not seeing it as being as, uh, you know, as profitable of a decision. Let's see. I mean, we just want light gray, and you can see just by doing this, you know, it, it, it's not the great. I mean, here's a light gray right there, but uh, I gotta make myself another of the uh, Horn of the Wild, but it's not the most productive way to go about this. Uh, we need it. We need a total of uh, eight. Actually, we need a total of twenty-four of these in just the light gray color. So, in order to, you know. Technically, get what we need. We're we're going to either have to sit here and continue to do this over and over again, which isn't uh, isn't going to make very much sense, you know. Just light gray? What is that? That's just regular gray. I said light gray doesn't seem to be one that seems to come up very often. If, if if we get enough here to uh, to do that quest one more time, I'll be more than happy. Because you know, at least we accomplished getting you know more of the way through it than I expected. But you never know. Getting to the stage where you're able to produce the uh, produce those crops is not as easy as it seems. <clears throat> Alright, so let's turn all these in here. And then we'll reevaluate how many we have. So we now have 13 light gray, so we'll take all those. And even if we take every single last one, that's only 26. Alright, so that's only 26. Now, can I use this? I don't think there's any other light gray. 
seen any other light gray flowers in here. Purple dye. I don't see anything else that's light gray. Light gray dyes. That's just regular old dye, but that's not going to convert into what we need. Nope. Not going to convert into what we need. Nope. <clears throat> so, being that that's the case, uh, we're only going to be able to turn that in once. So we can pretty much we can just drop this here for now. And uh, we'll wait until we get the actual seeds, which will make things a little bit easier. Alright, so other than that, let's see. What other quests can we complete? Uh, da, 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 da. The way the world works, we now can complete this guy. It wants us to make ten... Man of steel ingots. Let's see how many we can make here because it does require a fair bit of mana. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, well, of course, we can. So that's going to give us uh, a mana tablet and uh, some hydrangeas. Also, it's going to give us either day blooms or nightshades. Uh, we'll, we'll take some more. We'll take some more day blooms. We're just going to have a huge amount of uh, day blooms. Maybe we'll plant them over this side or something. So 16 more day blooms and a mana tablet. The mana tablet works by... Uh, well, you can... Throw it down on top of there and... Oh, Accepting mana from items, sparing mana to items. So now, what this is going to do is it's going to basically spare its energy and put it into the uh, mana tablet. So, if we give this a second or two, you'll see if we pick up the mana tablet, it is now full. Alright, so that's accepting mana. So we should probably repoint this to the uh, to the mana spreader or the mana spreader to the mana pool. Let's see here. How the heck is that possible? Do you see this? I've never quite seen that before. We've actually got them splitting their beams. How the heck is that? I've never seen that before. This must be something in the new update. Because <laughs> I've never actually seen mana spreaders being able to uh, split their sources like that. Even though it is pretty cool. That's strange. That's a visual glitch. It's still it, that would be a pretty cool thing though. So okay, so then if it's a visual glitch, let's make sure we have it selected on the right items, just so we put it in the right spot. There we go. All right, cool. So we now have a mana tablet. We're not going to do anything with that as of right this moment, <clears throat> but we have it for when we need it. And we'll work on some of these things here. So I'll put this here. Actually, we should put all this in the Botania chest. We shouldn't. We should leave it with the stuff that where it needs to be. So we'll put this in here. We'll put the uh, mana steel ingots and the mana tablet in there. The uh, pestle immortal and the wand of the forest. And we have essence of coal. We'll go just stick those in here for now. The seeds over here, and we'll put our day blooms out there. All right, so all that stuff's stored away. <laughs> all right, 
So, <clears throat> what is our plan? Well, you're going to have to wait until the next episode. So, like, subscribe, or leave a comment. And you can also watch these recordings live on twitch.tv forward slash minecraftingdad. Thank you again, guys, and see you next time.